This is me, Destiny. Um, we're just gonna jump right on into it. Right here, I'm parting hair for the for my hair for my bang. I'm sorry, this is kind of like my first video, so just kind of like bear with me, and um, we'll get through this and have you looking like a doll. All right, right here, I'm doing a flat twist. I'm flat twisting the bang so it can stay out of my way, cause for some reason my hair always in the way, and my hair kind of greasy, cause I just greased it like the night before so it's real greasy uh, right here I got my wide tooth comb and I'm just combing my hair up in a ponytail and what I'm going to do I'm going to wet it so it can hold better because my hair doesn't hold good when it's dry so I try to like wet it and plus I don't want to damage my hair and I'm using a wide tooth brush to brush out my hair because I don't want to use like a skinny comb it could damage your hair and it just won't sit right yeah, I got to adjust the camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, my hair, it don't hold water well. Like, I could wet it one time. It's not wet enough, so I always have to go back in and wet it again. But, um, yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I'm just putting my hair in the ponytail right now. And it should be very, very simple. My hair is just so thick, and it's so hard. Y'all should understand how hard it is to put thick hair in a ponytail. It's very hard. It's frustrating. Um, yeah, but right now I'm going to use my Eco Style Gel. The kind I use is the olive oil kind. Um, uh, it works good for me. I don't know if anybody, it works good for everybody else, but for my hair, it holds good for my hair. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use a hard, um, bristle brush. And I don't use, I don't usually use the soft bristles because it usually don't, um, what is it? It usually don't slick my hair like how I want it to. It's too soft for me. So that's why I always use the hard brush. The hard one. And that's not how my ponytail is going to look. I just have it up like that so it can hold in place. So I won't have to be, you know, keep trying to brush the hair up to get it to stay up. I just put it up in like a little quick bun and put the gel around it to mold it in the place that it's supposed to go. And once I do that, I'm going to show you where I fix up my edges. And I just put it back, like re-put it in a ponytail, like how I actually want my ponytail to be, as you're seeing right here. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I did my edges already, but they're going to mess up after I put my hair in the ponytail. And you're going to see how they're going to mess up. I'm not very good at edges, but I try my best. I try my best. I'm not the edge queen yet, but I am going to get there one day. Um, but right here, I'm going to try to like to redo my edges. And the stuff I use to put on my edges is called Got To Be Glued. It comes in like a black container. You're going to see it later in the video um, of what I used for my edge control. I don't really use edge control no more because for some reason, even edge control doesn't hold well on my hair. So I usually don't use it. But yeah, I put a rubber band around my ponytail just to give it this bald look because I'm not going to use my red ponytail hair. Okay, now right here, I'm just trying to picture how I want my bang to swoop. And I'm just going to wet it up. And this is what I mean by my hair is very greasy. Look how stiff it looks once I wet it up. It just don't look like hair. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to session it off into three parts and gel it down and blow dry it. So to make it, make sure that it mold in place how I want it to. Because sometimes hair tends to come up when it comes to bangs, especially natural hair. It will most definitely come up. And you're going to see later on in the video why I still have problems with trying to get it those um spaces to where my actual scalp and skin is showing i don't like those spaces in my veins so you're gonna see later on in the video while i'm trying to fix those spaces but yeah right here i'm just gonna use my got to be glue um spray just the hairspray hose spray whichever one um yeah i use that and i blow dry it also I put my blow dryer on low. I never put it on too high because I don't want to burn myself or I don't want to even, you know. Right there, I was talking to my brother-in-law. We were talking about our puppy. I just got a new dog. His name is Deuce, and I love him so, so much. He's only seven weeks old. 
I'll probably put a picture at the end or in my next video of him. So I'll show y'all how he looks. But yeah, right here I'm using um, my olive oil gel again. My eco style gel. And I'm just doing it to parts. And um, as I'm souping this part, you will see what has little spaces in it. Those are the spaces that I was talking about that you're going to see in a minute. Like you see those lines of my skin actually showing. I hate those parts. So right there. And you're going to see what I'm trying to fix it. But as of right now, you really don't have to worry about those parts showing if it's like down at the end. Because that last piece that you're going to soup over is going to actually cover that up. So you really don't have to worry about it. I, I'm not saying have it looking, you know, spaces everywhere. But you really don't have to worry about perfecting it yet until that last piece come down. And there I go blow drying again. It's best to blow dry every piece so it can hold better. That's what I prefer you to do because that, that would be the best thing to do. Especially if you have had it come up all the time. Like my hair tend to wave. Those are the spaces I was talking about. The ones I just pointed to. Next I'm going to go ahead and just lay this last piece down. And you see how that last piece covering up those spaces that I had before. And when you on um, super your bang. You might want to leave out a little edges. To soup on over there. I told you I'm not the edge queen, you guys. So I try like to work with my edges, do different styles of my edges, but I'm really, really, really not a perfectionist at it yet. It's real hard for me to get it to how I want it to be. And then sometimes it'll be looking cute to other people, but for some reason it just don't look cute to you. So. Now right here, um, I got a bobby pin and I um, put it exactly where the swoop um, soup over. I put it exactly right there to hold in place because it will tend to shift up as you see right there when I brush it, it shift up. But I put it in my bobby pin wrong and I didn't notice it until later on in the video. That's why it was um, shifting up so badly like that because usually it doesn't. But, um, yeah, I go ahead and put a bobby pin right there so it can hold its swoop in place. And once I do that, I, um, the piece that's hanging off, you're going to see me while I brush it up. But right here, I'm just trying to fix those spaces in my vein before I brush it up or anything. Now, that's the hair right there where I'm going to be um, combing up. You want to hold your bobby pin when you brush it up, though. Because if you don't hold your bobby pin, your bang is most definitely going to shift up like how we did with the... Um, first time that I brushed it but yeah you're gonna see me in the video in a minute where I'm gonna fix that bobby pin that's sticking off right there yeah I was about to put that head scarf on until I realized I'm like wait I didn't blow dry it <laughs> and I'm not gonna use a head scarf because I'm supposed to use a satin one or a silk one but I am gonna use some little black wraps that you're gonna see later on in the video so I'm going to blow dry just a little bit right here and just mess around with it to make sure that it's in place like how I want it to. And right there you can see when my hair is still like getting that space in it right there. Got to fix the camera again y'all. And I might keep sniffing because I got a little cold but I'm trying. Uh, and right there I'm just uh, going to show you the hair that I'm going to use for my ponytail. But first I'm going to, those are the black straps that I'm going to use to hold down my bang. I got a notification right there. <laughs> but yeah, you get those from the dollar store. Um, I love using these because um, it's just I don't know, it, it dries my hair better to me than the silk scarf. And I love using those. Those are for old school. Even though I'm not that old. I'm 21. Well, 20. Fixing to be 21. Uh, yeah, and that's the hair that I'm using. I got that from uh, Beauty and Beyond. It costs nine ninety nine. It's like a twenty four inch um, ponytail hair, and I'm gonna brush it out because I don't like my curls being so perfect in my hair. So I brushed it a little bit to brush that curl out, that perfect curl out. And I'm gonna get a bobby pin and put it at the end of the track 
and then once I'm gonna stick it um in my ponytail I try to like wrap I hold my head down like that because I wrap my ponytail around but I want to make sure it go all the way around instead of just going in the front you're gonna have to play with the hair a little bit just to get it right exactly like how you want it to, how you want it to be and right here I'm just wrapping it around and I'm gonna get another bobby pin and stick it in there so, and this is the ponytail I kind of actually love a curl that's like this I love these type curl I wish that my real hair would curl this way but it won't happen no time soon And yeah, you see me keep fixing that little piece right there. Um, I put bobby pins to hold it because my hair is actually short and sometimes it doesn't hold. But the way I wrap my ponytail, you won't be able to see the bobby pins that I put right there in that section. So that's why I put bobby pins right there. Because the ponytail is going to block you from even seeing bobby pins in that spot. And once I wrap my hair around, you kind of could play with the bun yourself on how you want it to be wrapped. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, and this is, um, yeah, you could play with your bun, though. And right here is how I'm going to have my string sticking out. It's like you just choose a string you want or whichever one is curled how you want it to be. You just choose it and have it sticking out. Now, this is optional. I mean, you don't really have to have the strings out if you don't want it to be out. That's just something that I chose to do because it was cute to me. So, you really don't have to do this if you don't want to. You could just leave it curly how it is in a bun, or you could pull the strings out if you want to. And right here, I'm just playing around with my bun on how um, I want it to be styled. So it really doesn't take long to do this. All you're doing is just picking around with the bun on how you want it. That's all. Okay, now right here I'm blow drying my bang a little bit more before I take up um, my wrap just to get make sure that it's a little dry. When I took off my um, wrap, it still wasn't dry all the way how I wanted it to be, but that was fine because um, I was going to have to go somewhere anyway and it was going to air dry off the rest. And that is how the bang is look um that's how the bang look it still had a little space in it but and that's the got to be glued that i was talking about earlier in the video that's what i use it's the styling gel they have two different kinds they have the black bottle which is the styling gel and they also have the yellow kind which is the holding gel i think i think it's called the holding gel but both of them do justice for me i just like the um white one a little bit better because it's waterproof but yeah, I'm going to mess around with the bang a little bit but and fix those spaces in it. But it'll still turn out how I want it to. But other than that, this is the style. Very nice. I hope you enjoyed the video. And see you again.